Okay. The Arabs yanked every penny they had with us. They hit all the other outfits, too, so it's crossed the board. That means every bank in the country out there is going to be struggling for liquidity, trying to cover those cash withdrawals. We're dumping everything. Treasury bills, bonds, Fannie Mae's, commercial papers, we want it all sold. Fed funds, euro dollars, borrow whatever you can find, up to 200 million. Foreign exchange, no positions. Bullion, grab what you can get. All right, let's hit it. And pray. Maybe we could try to borrow in Frankfurt. Zurich. Swiss International owes us a favor. It's over, Roy. Down the tubes, and gold just went over 2,000. By tonight, that'll be cheap. I recorded the amount Hi, Virginia. It's me. I want you to listen and listen very carefully. As soon as you hang up, I want you to go to the closet, take a suitcase, and get to the bank. It began eight days ago when a group of Arab investors withdrew billions of dollars from U.S. banks. That, in turn, started a chain reaction on the world money markets. Dollars, pounds, marks, francs, yen. Not one currency escaped. This scene outside a Manhattan bank was duplicated all over the world as people saw their life savings become worthless in a matter of hours. Good evening, I'm George Page in New York and this is another in our series of reports on the world economic crisis. The growing paralysis of the industrial world has left millions without jobs, without money, and without hope. Crowds of unemployed poured into Washington yesterday. They stood in silent protest before the nation's leaders. At the same time, more than a million people packed St. Peter's Square, where the Pope urged calm and nonviolence. The pontiff asked for prayers for world leaders, prayers and peace and reason. But the last 24 hours have been marked by growing protests and ever-increasing violence. Last night, demonstrators burned American currency in front of the White House, and attempts to put out the fires led to a confrontation with police. Every hour, from every corner of the globe, there are new reports of outraged crowds demanding action. A bankrupt world seems to be teetering on the very edge of anarchy. 